My name is Fortunata Tim. I'm the founder and executive director of My Legacy. And My Legacy is an NGO which envisions poverty free communities living dignified lives. And uh, we operate around three thematic areas uh, economic empowerment, and inclusive leadership, and empowerment and protection of um, rights of women and children. We are guided by our five year strategic plan, uh, 2021 to 2025. And in that strategic plan, we have four key result areas. Uh, result area number one is on ensuring that uh, women and youth take a lead in addressing community challenges. A key result area two is economic empowerment so that uh, communities can have means, specifically incomes, to be able to afford basic services. And here we are talking about livelihoods so that when they have um, predictable livelihoods, they can have um, income. And through the income, they can improve their living uh, environment as well as contribute to improving uh, learning environment. And uh, the other key result area is in relation to enhancing productive partnerships. And here we are talking about partnerships of all sorts. Uh, we partner with government at different levels. We also partner with communities that we serve but also those who we collaborate with, including those who empower us uh, to have the means of implementing different interventions and different projects. And here we are talking about donors and well-wishers who support us. And the third key result area in, is in relation to um, building a sustainable organization and here we are talking about my legacy as an organization that it has to be uh, strong and capable of implementing the different interventions that we uh, develop and uh, this includes the different projects that we have so with those key result areas you'll see that three out of those four are all targeting at improving the communities that we serve when you talk of um, empowering the youth to take a lead in addressing uh, community challenges, you see that the community is at the center, not only as beneficiaries, but also as partners. When we talk of empowering uh, communities to have uh, strong livelihoods, we are also talking about communities. We want to make a change in the community. And uh, when we talk about developing and nurturing strong, sustainable partnerships, Again, one of the partners is the community that we serve. We have to work together. And uh, we use a, a term community partners and not even beneficiaries because we are partnering with the communities. Not only uh, for the sake of just partnering to implement interventions, but we want to see sustainability in the interventions, in the investments that we make in the community. Now, the community has to take a lead in addressing some of the challenges, but working together, we can achieve more and with less. And here I want now to talk about volunteerism. Volunteerism is a very important aspect of what we do at My Legacy, starting with the organization itself. As an organization, we also believe in creating um, or rather contributing to having competent human resources. And within the organization, we provide um, uh, opportunities for especially the young people to come and learn, to come and gain experience. As we know, um, a number of young people completed their education. And in many cases, it's not easy to even get a job because of lack of experience. So we offer that opportunity uh, by allowing them to come and work with us. And through that, we mentor and we coach them. And in the process, they acquire uh, the different skills that are needed in the uh, employability or rather in the job market. So we give them that opportunity. But, um, and we do that either through offering short-term internships 
or bringing them now to work together with our teams and when we are implementing different interventions they are also part of that and in that um, that way they acquire their different skills and uh, some of those volunteers they've even been now absorbed in our teams and they've been able to secure a position within that organization. The advantage of this is that as an organization, we are able now to inculcate an uh, organizational culture that we think is desirable uh, for these young people to be effective and also they learn how to be results oriented, which again is another big problem. Sometimes uh, young people, they do not really uh, consider that as an employee, you have to be result driven. You have to provide results. It's not just like coming to the office, sitting, talking, doing a few things, and then you go home. No, you have. It, we are inculcating in them that uh, habit of always thinking about the why. Why are they there? Why are you in a certain organization? What is the reason for you being there? And the reason should be you are there in order to contribute something and that something is the result. So we also really spend a lot of our time to coach them and to give them that skill. Uh, apart from internship, we also offer volunteership um, opportunity. And both the volunteers and the interns, they, they also contribute their time and they contribute whatever they have eh? because if they are uh, they have just graduated it means they have a knowledge but then we now work with them so that they can translate the knowledge into results so here we see that uh, by being a volunteer you not only contribute your time and your passion into transforming communities but also in return, it is an opportunity to gain uh, different skill sets and also to network with others and to understand the world of work or rather the job market, what it wants and what you're supposed to, to deliver. But again, going back now to the aspect of community, through volunteers, communities are able to be resilient. When within the community, both the volunteer and the community which uh, receives um, the different uh, services, um, at the end, we can see now the community becoming resilient and the well-being of community uh, getting better. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the spirit of volunteerism has kind of like waned, eh, is dwindling. People are so much focused on thinking about being paid. For whatever little that they do, they think about getting paid. Well, I'm not saying that uh, people should not be thinking about getting paid. But I think the starting point is to show what you can do by transforming the community, by transforming even yourself, so that at least now you can peg yourself that, okay, I'm worth this much. But you cannot just peg yourself when you cannot really show what you can do uh, with whatever knowledge you have, with your time and with your skills. You, you can build yourself as a brand by doing something mm, positive, contributing positively to the community. And that way you can be visible as a, as a volunteer in the community. You can be visible, people can see what you are capable of doing and slowly you can find yourself now able to get the job that you want or you can be spotted and um, being included in different, um, uh, in different processes which ultimately can also uh, enable you to build your career and ultimately, yeah, you're going to make money that way. But the starting point should not be uh, I need to be paid. You need to be paid when you don't have skills, you don't have experience, and these are the things that employers need. So I really urge, especially young people, to start 
cultivating that spirit of volunteering. And we volunteer all the time. Even at home, you don't get paid for washing dishes. You don't get paid by for, you know, sweeping or taking care of the garden. You don't get paid by looking after your siblings. So these are volunteering activities that we do since time immemorial in our homes, in our families. But then people find it so difficult to extend that spirit to the community. So I really urge young people to start rethinking volunteerism. But I also urge community members to start now bringing back that spirit of volunteering and that's why we have as one of our um, um, three thematic areas this whole idea of women and youth taking a lead in addressing community challenges now taking a lead means volunteering basically like now we have the El Nino rains and we can see how communities are being devastated. We see floods, we see, you know, garbage being washed away by the rain and this garbage is becoming a menace in our community. We should start thinking, what can we do as members of the community to address this challenge? Yeah, that is coming with the heavy rains that we're experiencing now. Okay, sometimes even a simple thing like showing direction, somebody needs to be paid so that they can show you, okay, my legacy offices are here or they are there. Now this is very, very bad and it's a very bad attitude. We should start having this positive attitude of being helpful. And we should be able now to lend a helping hand so as to make a community a better place to, to live. And this is the essence of, you know, volunteering. So how does my legacy benefit from this program and from those volunteers? Yeah, that's a very, very good uh, question. And the answer is very simple. My legacy is, is a... I would say it's a new kid on the block. It's barely, it's not even five years since its establishment. But we've been able to do so much because we are also um, capitalizing or we are leveraging on this spirit of volunteerism. I'll give an example. We have a big program uh, that we implement in theater schools. And in those schools, we have established um, clubs now those clubs are being um, they are being supported by schools the teachers themselves in the school these are the focal points for each club that we have now we are not paying anything to these teachers this is a clear case of um, a, a, a good example of how volunteering can bring very good results and we are making an uh, impact to it there's a lot of impact that has come as a result of these clubs which are being uh, supported by the teachers themselves. Uh, within the schools, the students, they're not being paid to do whatever they're doing. It's that uh, spirit that we've been able to inculcate in them, uh, making them feel that they have a responsibility to address some of the challenges in the schools. Like, um, yeah, keeping the school environment clean, um, helping um, other children other um, uh, students also to start now changing behavior especially around um, sanitation and hygiene if you go to those schools now you'll find the students themselves taking a lead to make sure that the school is clean they are sweeping the school environment they are planting trees they are planting flowers they are now planting vegetables and this is the result of volunteerism and this is what we mean by by the um, by what I said earlier that through volunteerism we are building resilient communities these actions that are being um, taken by the students slowly they're contributing to resilient and in improving the well-being of communities when they are able to cultivate or rather to grow vegetables 
fruit trees, who is going to be the beneficiary of the vegetables? The students themselves, of course, their teachers. When the um, fruits start, uh, you know, when they, they have fruits, they are going to harvest, they are going to benefit uh, the students and the teachers and the community. So we see the well-being, slowly the well-being improving within the community. But as a small organization, we, are, we have small projects but with big impact. Now, how are we able to achieve the big impact? It's because we have partners who are supporting us. There are partners who are supporting us with some funds. There are partners who are supporting us with their networks. There are partners who are supporting to make things, you know, run smoothly. And here I'm talking about the government officials. They are all, we are not paying those government officials to work with us. But through that, through the different contribution from different segments in the society, whether it is the government, whether it is the school, whether it is the children themselves, whether it is the parents, eh, because without the parents, uh, these, um, uh, the school-based um, wash program, for instance, may not be sustainable. And that's why we're engaging with the parents so that they can see the value of participating. And when they participate, we are not be paying them anything. We cannot even afford to pay them. Even our own staff, we have staff who are volunteers. And yeah, even if we are giving them some allowances to support with transport, this is not a salary. But through that spirit, we've been able now to achieve more with less. These are just a few examples of what my legacy as an organization is able to benefit by promoting the spirit of volunteerism. To inspire those young people in the community who have graduated but they they are not willing to volunteer. So briefly can you share why volunteers matter? Yeah like I said before by volunteering first it gives you that sense of belonging. It gives you a purpose in life. Eh? Every human being, I believe, is here on earth for a purpose. And sometimes we don't even understand, we don't even know why we are here. But by trying to do small actions, small as just volunteering, you never know, you may be fulfilling a purpose which maybe you are not really aware of. But through volunteerism, you stand to gain experience, you stand to acquire skills, you stand to develop and expand your networks, you stand to benefit a lot in a number of ways. But you also can be a role model through the different actions that you are implementing and the community will get to appreciate you and who doesn't want to be appreciated you get appreciated and that is priceless you cannot put a price on that feeling that you get when you are being appreciated but in the long run all these can contribute now to building your brand such that at the end of the day you can get that real job that you've been dreaming of. You never know. You build your CV, your curriculum time. You can show what you've been able to do. And through that, you can be competitive even in the job market. But it doesn't necessarily mean that by volunteering, you're just eyeing to be employed. You can employ yourself because through engaging with the market, you can even spot of other opportunities which under normal circumstances, maybe it would have been very difficult for you to spot such opportunities. So I would really urge young people not to shy away from volunteering. I would urge them to step forward and volunteer. Because there is a lot of benefits that are out there once you start now volunteering. That's when now you can see the benefits.